Hello everyone, I'm J.R. Graver and I'm in uh, Kakuma, Kenya with my new friends. Uh, this is Al Alfred and this is Lino. And they have an incredible story that I want to share with you. They are stepbrothers, they had the same dad and different mothers, right? So in, tell us a little bit of the story guys. In 2013? Yeah, 2013. You came here, right? Yeah. From South Sudan? Yeah. Yes, South Sudan. And a year later, Lino came. One year later, he came. 2014. Yes. yes. In 2012, before they left, their father, go ahead and tell him, Lino. Say it loudly. Okay. Uh, in the year 2012, my dad was a businessman, so he had traveled from our village to a nearby town to buy some properties for hotel. And uh, on the road, he, they were attacked by uh, robbers, and he was shot dead. And uh, we were just shown the blood on the vehicle. We didn't see where his body was. So up to now, we don't know where he is. That is how he died. That is how he passed. Away. And guys, get this. Lino and so Alfred's mom lives here in the camp. And so the way it works is one mother is here and they communicate with notes and they say bring the children we'll take care of them they come here for studies is what they're doing they're studying and these two have a heart for jesus they want to serve the lord they are after the lord's own heart and lino has came over here in 2014 2014 today is 2023 he has not seen his mother since 2014 he has not seen his mother Wherever you are, lift Lino and Alfred up in prayer. These two guys are amazing. They are doing it all for the glory of Jesus. Tell us what you felt when you see the visitors yesterday. Wow, it's an awesome experience. Since uh, we saw you just seeing you with our eyes, we see the love of Jesus Christ. There is nothing in my life that I've, I've seen than seeing people traveling from abroad just for us. We don't know you, we don't know where you came from, but you just choose to love us and to come to uh, and teach us the word of the Lord. So we have, we feel blessed and we are very, very happy. Yes. This is the grace of the Lord that he has for us. It tells us that our future is great and there is something big that the Lord has for us in his treasure. That's right. Mm. That's right. I told Lino, I said, look, when we're following Jesus, it doesn't matter what color the skin. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? Yes. It's all about Jesus. That's all it's about. It doesn't matter. When we have our eyes on Jesus, it's, skin color doesn't matter. How we look, how we dress, nothing matters. It's all about Jesus and the love that He had for you and I. You and I. So, Lino, so, anything else you want to share? So I have a question on you behind the camera here. Yes. Uh, listen, brother, how did you become a Christian? Yes. Okay. Uh, since uh, our father died, we came to Kakuma just for studies. We know nothing about Christ. And uh, here in 2018, I got born again. I got saved. I see people going to church and, uh, and then I felt the love that I see there is something about God. So I felt the arch of the Spirit of the Lord the help, uh, helping me to know Jesus Christ. So I went to the church and I was prayed for, and then I got born again. And uh, I came and speak to my brother. I shared to him the gospel and uh, he got born again the following year. That was really? 2019. So this and now, is the first guy? Yes. And now Praise we are the serving the Lord together in the church. And uh, we began as a fellowship and now it has become a church. And uh, I am the leader of the church. Wow. Where you uh, where we fellowship yesterday? Yes, the, yes. the church we was at yesterday afternoon in the heat in the under the tarp. So you are the leader from that church where we yesterday, yes. and the pulpit is on a tree mm. nailed onto a tree. Yes, yes, That's yes. your pulpit for the church. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. That is incredible, brother. Yes. And brothers, what we have heard from you, this is a testimony what people in the world have to hear. What God has done for you, That's right. your father was shut. And you later became a born again Christian with your brother now, and you brought you brought your brother to the Lord. Mm. Yes, your step brothers, your brother, step brothers, step brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Moms. yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is an incredible story. Wow. You guys live here in northern Kenya, 
and you are doing the service for Jesus to bring other people to the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. I just yes. want to be in this picture too, so I will turn Absolutely. it around a little bit. So, yes. this is so amazing uh, to have you on a, on a video here. I really appreciate you, brothers. And I, and I thank you so much, brother, too, for suggesting them to make a video with them. Absolutely. And I think it's so, so nice that we can share the good news of Jesus and uh, that you were willing to share with them. And guys, for a God's glory, we are going to share your story with the world. Amen. Amen. Yes, we will share your story with the world Amen. for God's glory. So, and I, I just, just remember, I would just... Um, this is this is so nice here outside right behind us here uh, you see that just way just that behind us there that's the uh, united nations airport yes uh, this is where that gravel strip there behind that house that's where the planes land and uh, bring refugees i guess from all over the world are you living at a re refugee camp yes we are living at a refugee camp brothers and sisters when you see this video think about it there's two brothers and a lord they live at a re refugee camp where there, I think that whole camp altogether has about 180,000 refugees from all over Africa. Yes. Um, uh, listen, we were there yesterday. They started, they, they, they invited us to come there. They had just a tent and they had the church started with 20,000 uh, their money. What's their money name again? Shillings. Shillings. 20,000. So they needed 80,000 more, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and, and now the visitors who came with us gave them 80,000, right? Mm -hmm. So now they have enough money to pay the church. Yes. So brothers and sisters, have these people in your prayer. Pray for them that the Holy Spirit may use them in a mighty way to share their story. And this is your story, what you can share with others. When you see this video, send it around the world so that other people hear about Jesus. That's right. That's right. And their hope right now is that the new sanctuary that they are wanting to be build is going to be able to hold at least 500 people. 500 people is what they're shooting for. Because right now the problem is is too many people mm. have to sit in the sun. Mm. It's like almost 100 Celsius. degrees. Mm. What is 100 degrees in Celsius? Uh, I think it's uh, like um, above 30. About 30 degrees Celsius is no. really, really hot. No, it's, it's 38, I think. 38. Yeah, up okay. to 38 Celsius here. Yes. So it's really, really warm. It's hot. It's dusty. It's, the conditions are bad. Pray for these people. They are going to share the gospel with the world by this video. So one sentence, would you like to share? Yes. One sentence. One? Would you like to say a little bit one more thing. yet? One thing. Say one okay, thing. Just one little thing. One message to the world. Yes. What do you want to say to the world? Uh, I think my message to the world is that uh, let's be uh, diligent to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. Really appreciate that. One more time on the camera here. So yes. God bless you. This is awesome to meet you guys. God is good. And thank you, brother, for finding these two brothers here. We could share the story with the rest of the world. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.